It's 2023 and the tourists are back in London. So am I. For my London walk today, I'm going to Waterloo. Waterloo Station is the terminus of the South West Main Line and several commuter services around West and South West London, Surrey, Hampshire and Berkshire. The station was opened in 1848 and it replaced the earlier Nine Elms terminus following the building of a viaduct. The station was rebuilt in the early 20th century, opening in 1922 and included the Victory Arch over the main entrance, which commemorated World War I. Waterloo was the last London terminus to provide steam-powered services, which ended in 1967. The station was the London terminus for Eurostar trains from 1994 until 2007. The area that housed the Eurostar departure lounges, restaurants and bars have now been rebuilt as a shopping centre, the Sidings. Many of the shops are yet to be occupied. It's a very wet and windy day and I'm walking towards the River Thames, close to the Royal Festival Hall, which opened in May 1951. It was part of the Festival of Britain. From Festival Pier, it's possible to take ferry services right down to Canary Wharf and Greenwich. This is the current Waterloo Bridge, which was officially opened in 1942. Due to a shortage of men who were at war, women became the predominant members of the construction workforce. This resulted in the project being referred to for many years as the Ladies' Bridge. The first Hungerford Bridge, designed by Isambard de Kingdom Brunel, was opened in 1845 as a suspension footbridge. It was named after the then Hungerford Market, which is where Charing Cross Station is now. In 1859, the original bridge was brought by the railway company extending the South Eastern Railway into the newly opened Charing Cross Railway Bridge. The company replaced the suspension bridge with a new structure. It's much nicer along here in the spring, but not too bad today. The London Eye was formally opened by the Prime Minister Tony Blair on the 31st of December 1999. It was originally intended as a temporary attraction with a five-year lease. But in December 2001, operators submitted an application to Lambeth Council to give the London Eye permanent status. The former County Hall on the South Bank was the headquarters of the Greater London Council. It's now two hotels and home to several London attractions. 
The South Bank Lion by Westminster Bridge was originally mounted on the parapet of James Godding's Lions Brewery on the South Bank. The brewery closed in 1924. It was then painted red and relocated to Waterloo Station. I've been here before in my videos. This is Leak Street, the very colourful Leak Street which goes under Waterloo Station. Peak Street leads into Lower Marsh, home to a market and a number of food stalls. The Old Vic Theatre is just a few yards from Waterloo Station. It's a not-for-profit theatre. There are many interesting Georgian houses in Waterloo Road. Well, that was my walk in Waterloo. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.